All right, guys, so we have this Sheck come up here and talk some smack to us. And, uh, you know, that's just not going to fly, right? Because Beep is the strongest warrior, period. Well, there goes nothing. Hey everybody, welcome back to Kenshi Project Genesis, where you and your characters get to explore the completely reworked world of Kenshi in the Project Genesis Overhaul mod. Restore Ruka's honor, of course, and destroy the Holy Nation once and for all, because why wouldn't you? Thank you guys so much for the amazing support on this series, by the way. The continued support is just blowing me away. You guys have been just crushing it in the comments. I'm loving it, man. You guys are so helpful to each other in collaborating on your stories. It's really a beautiful thing to behold, and I really, really am totally humbled every time I see it. It's really cool. Speaking of collaboration, guys, you might be wondering, well, why is Crab over here? He's not recruited yet. We recruited him in the last episode, right? Well, here's the thing, guys. Crab... The author of this mod, the guy who made, you'll see him in the comments if you read the comments at all, you obviously know who he is. Uh, he's in Discord all the time. He's super helpful. He's in Rodamont's Discord. I mean, just being, just he's just, he's a super helpful guy in general in the community. And I'm absolutely humbled that he watches my videos, as am I that you all watch my videos. I really appreciate it. It's been such a cool journey. Now, here's the thing, guys. Crab wrote some very specific dialogue to uh, the recruiting process that involved a skeleton, right? Because he was sort of assuming that Vamrix was gonna be the one recruiting him. Now, I, I almost did actually, <laughs> if you remember in last episode. Uh, but see, the thing is, uh, I recruited with Ruka because I was sort of thinking, okay, it makes sense for Ruka to recruit. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and do the process all over again, and then I will reload the game that we already had saved. So I, j I just, I want you guys to see this dialogue as a personal thank you to Crab for writing such an amazing mod for this series. I, I just, I can't, thank you guys enough there's been three of you i think so far that have that have made mods i hope i'm not missing anyone but i just, i'm just blown away and all of your stories man it, they're just incredible so let's do this okay the man stares at you frozen with terror please don't hurt me i'm trying the crab sexy voice again hopefully i'm getting it right uh why would i want to hurt you don't make any sudden moves and i won't have to understand <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, Mr. Uh, skeleton. Understood. Uh, sorry, what I meant to say was, yeah, 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 yes, Mr. Uh, skeleton. Understood. Good. Now be a good human and listen. I'm not here to hurt you. If I was, you'd already be dead. Man, I should have done a Clint Eastwood voice for that one. Jeez. Now, who are you? Mm -hmm. That was a gulp. Uh, my name is Crab. The one and only. All right, Crab. What are you? An obvious Ocranite doing here in Squin. Uh, I think <laughs> the dialogue might need a rewrite there, Crab. Just saying. I, uh, I left the Holy Nation, the Paladins. They were beating and torturing people. They were creatures I had never seen before locked in cages. They made me heal the wounds of the slaves so they could keep working. They said the slaves would be reborn through work, but no one ever made it out. Eventually I had had enough. I lied to the gods and said I needed to go to Blister Hill for medical supplies and more crab sexiness. From there I kept running west and ended up here. I'm amazed those, uh, things were out there didn't catch me. Wow. That's quite the story you've got there. It's a miracle you made it out of there alive, honestly. You looking to join up? We could use a medic. Join a skeleton? Uh, yes. With a skeleton. Now, do you want to join or not? Uh, sure. I'm gonna need a cover of 6,000 cats to make sure you don't immediately kill me, though. No. 1,000 cats, and I'll personally make sure you don't die. You'll also get to see the world that exists outside of the Holy Nation. <laughs> oh, I love it, dude. That was amazing. I, I love it, dude. I really appreciate that, man. I really do. That's super cool. All right. All right. Again, welcome to the team for the second time, buddy. Let's get the party started, shall we? All right, guys, we're back in Squin. Uh, I mean, a uh, uh, mongrel. <laughs> anyway, we are ready to rock and roll here. We got a few changes uh, from when you last saw us. Not really that big of a deal, but, you know, DeFake, 
He said in the comments, he said, you know, Vam, I think with all that frickin' money that you got so easily in the last episode by killing those Fogmen, or actually we didn't kill any Fogmen, right? we just kind of watched the guards do it and looted them, uh, I want you to buy me some new gear, buddy, okay? I really need some new gear. And so, you know what, Defake? I heard you, bud. I heard you. I got you a high-grade black plate, black plate jacket to match the ever-living awesome sauce of Ruka. So, you guys are kind of twinsies almost now. Except for I can't give you a super sweet helmet. But you're looking good, buddy. You're looking good. The one and only lion head made by the famous Camel Spider. We love her in this channel. We do. We do. And anyway, guys, uh, what else did we get? Beep needed a weapon. The The votes are in. 100% of you voted for um, a sword. He wants to be a swordsman. Now, I mean, I don't know if a hacker was what you guys were envisioning, but I kind of thought, you know, Beep would look pretty cool with a freaking moon cleaver. Look at how big that thing is on him, by the way. Now, it's a little bit heavy, okay? You notice his... his <laughs> his encumbrance is a little bit up there. Now, when he's not holding anybody, uh, let's go ahead and put that down. Beep, come on, be a good boy. All right, put Vam, oh man, Vam is even smaller than Beep. All right, well, you know, I'm just, I'm always gonna be the smallest one on the team, guys. I feel, I kind of feel like I need to like start working out or something. So anyway, you can see his weight is at 29 out of 16. So I'm gonna do a little bit of strength training on him to get him to the point where he can kind of carry that weapon. At least, uh, oh, I can't even keep it in his backpack. Okay, well, that's a bummer. We're not gonna do that anyway, though, right? We're gonna stop doing that. We're gonna stop using our backpack as a clutch. If we get looted, so be it. If our weapons are gone, so be it. If our food's gone, so be it. We're not gonna micromanage the backpacks. We're not gonna use the backpack trick anymore, period. I've never done that before and I'm scared to do it, but that's what we're going to do. So we're going to work strength until he is at 29 uh, encumbrance. So he needs to get another 13 strength. Uh, so since his strength is at one, he's going to need to be at 14 strength before that is uh, a thing. And we're going to do that by running through the fog lands. I think that's all the armor we got. I don't think we got anything else on anyone. I haven't found the backpack for Sir Camo yet, but I will. I will, Camo. Don't you worry. I will get you your backpack. I don't think we got any more upgrades for anybody. Yeah, I didn't want to get Neon Crab because he is kind of starting his career on the team, and I don't think he, I don't think he's ready for any upgrades yet. And then the other vote that you guys uh, cast in the last episode, as uh, because of the poll that I put out for you, was do we remove Beep's limbs? I mean, obviously everybody wanted him to be Cyber Beep. Nobody said go El Natural with Beep. Um, but essentially, uh, everybody kind of, it was split 50-50, and here's the thing, guys. I voted, okay, and my vote was take his limbs off right now, and here's the thing. Because my vote doesn't really count, I'm going to go, since it was 50-50 split, the votes are in, and the vote is to keep Beep's limbs until we lose it naturally. Now, here's the thing, okay? Naturally could mean a few things, Um and I'm going to take it to mean this because it was a tie. I am going to remove Beep's limbs naturally through combat with the assistance. Oh, I need to put everyone on follow because I loaded the game. With the assistance of wearing armor that does not protect his arms or his legs. So that's what we're going to do, guys. We are going to remove his arms and legs naturally through combat with a little bit of assistance from wearing armor that will make that possible. So at some point, I will put him in some armor that will help with that. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get into the, the, the swamps here. I'd like to go to Shark and see what's going on down there, see if there's been any changes. So that's what we're doing right now. We're heading down to the swamp. And then once we head down to the, once we get to the swamp, we're going to head south a little bit and kind of check out the hook area because I know there's been a lot of changes to the hook area. And then we're going to try to get up here into Shun to kind of see what's going on there because I've heard there's some changes in Shun as well. So that's what we're going to try to do this episode. Now, we may not have time to do all of that, but that is our current goal. Okay, this is freaking scary. This fog is, is creeping me out. It's creepy fog. <gasps> oh, yeah, they see us. Okay, we need to put, uh, should we take this fight I don't want to get stuck out here no I don't I don't want to do this we're gonna to need to put put some put this guy down Vam I don't know why I called him this guy oh man sometimes it is so hard to click on people to get him to like okay so Vam is down now let's let's offload this weapon because he's still really freaking heavy and he can't be we got to get out of here Camo, how's your speed carrying that? Oh. 
How's your speed carrying that? Yeah, he's fine. Okay, perfect. All right, so now we can again have everybody follow beep, and then we can just get out of here because we do not we do not want to get stuck here, fighting fog. I don't think if we were almost out of the fog lands, then that'd probably be okay. Is he gonna catch us? Beep is running at 19 miles an hour, and he's probably running at 19 as well. Yeah. So Beep's kind of on the cusp of how fast he needs to run to get out of here. But I think we're going to be just fine. And I think we'll wait to strength train until we're out of here. Out of the Foglands anyway, right? Oh, I think this is some special dialogue. Ruka, I don't mean to offend, but all of the other Shek I have seen outside of Rebirth have horns, and you do not. Why is this? Oh, dude, I am... Okay, I think this is specific dialogue that... Uh, that um, Crab wrote for this mod. So I definitely want to watch this and hopefully not get ambushed by beak things while I'm trying to read this. Because I think you were doing some research on how to do interjections, right? Here we go. Okay. As a Shek warrior, or a Shek warrior has their horns cut when they have lost their honor. I would rather not talk about it. I'm loving this, dude. This is so cool. I can't tell you how, how cool it is, guys, that... You guys would take your time to do something like this. I mean, because you are you are writing the story. Understood. I really, really, I'm so, I'm so thankful. I, I can't even, it, I can't even express it effectively, guys. I really, it's just so much fun. It's really cool, you know. I just, I just want you to know that it, it's really amazing to me that you would write this for this series. I really appreciate it. I don't know how to say it other than that, guys. Man, every time I come through Vayne on early game characters... Okay, that's a bone dog. I got so scared for a second there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but there was a bone dog chasing us. And I caught it like... I caught the movement like in the corner of my eye. And uh, it just kind of scared me pretty quickly there. Anyway, every time I'm coming through this area, like... I'm not worried about gorillas because they're not fast, right? I'm not that worried about bone dogs because they're not that fast. But beak things... When you're early game, right? Now, late game, they're no big deal. Or even mid game. I shouldn't say late game. Mid game, beak things are just, they're chumps, right? But man, early game, when you don't have any characters, like when you don't have a single character that's like 30 plus, although I think DeFake is probably 30 plus at this point, right? Yeah, DeFake, okay, so he's kind of our designated. Let's take a look at everybody's stats, guys. We don't really do that uh, super often. So Beep is brand new. Sir Camo is, oh, okay, we got some beak thing slayers. Ruka. Yeah, Ruzak's getting there. He's not quite there, but he's getting there. Zeka also getting there, not quite there. I think Sir Camel might have started with some higher stats. Uh, DeFake is definitely a Beak Thing Slayer at this point. Vam, Vam is starting to get there. Not quite, though. Yeah, so we've we've basically got three Beak Thing Ballers in the group. DeFake is kind of the, the big dog, but Sir Camel and Ruka also, and, and closely followed by Zeka, um, are are basically ready to take on beak things. So I guess I don't need to be as intimidated anymore because, you know, once you're at 20 plus, if you have three characters that are 20 plus, uh, you can take a, a beak thing, no problem. And, you know, when you have, um, you know, three characters that are 30 plus, then it's just kind of like no a walk in the park, right? And then once you got, you know, three characters that are 40 plus, it's just like, okay, I can take a whole group of beak things, no problem. We don't need to worry about it. And then you can even train your newer members on beak things without having to worry at all. Okay, we should head over to a high village. I really should have stopped by that one too because we want to find, uh, we want to find beep and we might as well start carrying again. We want to find Beep uh, a vest, right? We need him. We need a shirt for him. Even if it's uh, kind of a trashy shirt, it's fine. We just want some additional chest protection. We can't be too close to the shop, though, right? We got to get in here with somebody that is um, a camo. He's our shopper, right? Camo's our designated shopper. He likes he likes to fill his backpack. Let's see. Sometimes when you're too close with a hive list, like Beep, they won't... Oh, let's see. Look at this guard. Yeah, dude. I can't wait to get some of our people in gear like that. I love the way this hive armor looks. And by the way, guys, if you're looking for a super sweet hive playthrough, uh, other than my upcoming hive playthrough, 
Rodamont has a super, super cool, and Sabouts too, right? I shouldn't forget his his high playthrough. It's amazing. It's not as new, right? So there's a the the newer one is uh, Rodamont. And he's got um he's doing a, a Hive Queen playthrough, which is really cool. And then Sabouts has his Fogman playthrough, which is also a very awesome playthrough. Um, so if you haven't checked those out yet, guys, I would strongly, I would strong, and you want to see a Hive playthrough, I would. Oh, what is this jacket, guys? Oh. <gasps> This is cool looking. And it's got acid and burning. Ooh. It's got some leg protection. This kind of looks just like a dust coat to me. These stats look exactly like a dust coat. 10% fist. Hmm. I'd have to look at a dust coat to see what the difference in protection is, but this this looks strangely similar to a dust coat. And we don't have anybody in this, so we should definitely pick one of these up. I'm I'm liking the idea. And Sir Camo! Hell yeah! This would, I think this would fit his look perfectly. Let's do it. Uh, and I don't think anybody needs that, right? Does anybody need that? Should we save that for somebody? Like Vam? Yeah, definitely Vam. Boat show. Boat show knuckle bump, baby. Yeah, let's pick that guy up. It's only 3K. That's awesome. I like it. Know what the difference between Sir Camo and you is? He makes this jacket look good. I was talking to myself when I said that, by the way. Hopefully you didn't interpret that as I was saying that you don't look sexy because just because just because I don't doesn't mean you don't. OK, so, you know, this isn't isn't great, but it's kind of like, you know, a little bit of extra protection for beep. And that's what we're going to go with. Cool. I'm excited, guys. This is this is awesome. All right. Uh, let's take a look at Sir Camo. We didn't actually take a look at him in this new fancy armor. Yeah, look at that. That looks perfect. You know, it's funny because it goes with his name, too, because since his name is Sir Camo, it kind of goes with the the motif of, like, a military man, right? Like, it almost looks like, a, you know, one of the uh, – I can't remember what they're called. I can't remember the, the designation of them, but they're the army sort of, like, fatigue jacket, the non-camo ones, the old, like, sort of um, – the ones that they, I, th I think, were wearing uh, around the time of the Vietnam War. They kind of looked like this, right? You see a lot of old Vietnam vets uh, would wear these and stuff, you know? So kind of a similar style. I like it. It looks cool. I like it. It looks good. I think I think camo is, is definitely going to – wait, what's up with his fists? Is it – it is a – oh – is that actually covering his fists? Oh, now that's cool, guys. I like it. Yeah, this he's looking good, man. And it's kind of perfect for martial arts, right? Looking good. Looking good, buddy. Suddenly a wild group of Garu appear. Everyone stands still in anticipation. All right, Beep, you can move now, buddy. Let's go. Let's do it. What is this? Are these dust bandits? That is a that is a huge camp of dust bandits, dude. They're right in this high village too. Why are the hivers not fighting these dust bandits? I guess they don't. They're not mad at each other. Oh, they're coming for us, broskies and chickskies. They're they're coming. It's time. It's time, beep. It's time for you to earn your your strength training through combat, my man. Okay, so here's the thing, guys. I was informed, I believe, by Rusty Spear, or oh, I keep saying Spear. I don't know why I did that in Star Sector too. Rusty Spurs. You'd think, given I was growing up in Montana, that I would know what a spur is. Jeez. Now, if you put your archers on passive and you do attack all, they will attack everybody that's aggroed to them before stopping combat. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if that is indeed the case. All right, everybody getting stuck in here. Zeka's charging off, getting over. Oh, she's going to get hammered by those. We're not going to micro, though, guys. We're not going to micro. Oh, there's so many of these guys coming in now. But it looks like we're actually going to have some help here from, uh, from the guards. Let's take a look at Beep and see what's going on with this bad boy. Yeah, he is just slow with that weapon, but that's okay. He's going to get stronger. Oh, what a nice slow swing there. It didn't connect, but that's okay. We got Sir Camo just looking good in his new jacket. Check this out, man. That jacket is just looking good, man. Looking sharp, buddy. All right, what is Crab doing? Crab's kind of our newest recruit. Let's take a look at Crab and see what he's got going on. He's definitely getting hit. You can see some damage. He's got an arrow sticking out of his chest, man, but he's going to survive. He's a survivor. All right, Crab, come on, buddy. Get some swings in there. Yeah. 
Uh, he's switching targets nice and fast. We, it's, we're so lucky that we have these guards helping us here, man. We got Ruzak, Beep, and Zeka all trying to back up Crab, man. Everybody's a team player on our team, guys. Yeah, that's how we roll. Everybody just kind of works together. Zeka making the final punch there. Looking good. Uh, let's see. Looks like we got guards going off here. Now, Vamrix is moving to engage. Oh, that is such a cool, cool. I'm loving it. So even though he's on passive, because we told him to attack all. Now, we need to tell our whole group to re-engage here, right? Because we told him to attack all, he actually went off and engaged the rest of those dudes. I'm a little surprised that the rest of the, the group didn't, though. We got Ruzak and a Crab just charging into the fray all by them. They're lonesome. Beep's coming in to help him out. No problem. Rook also, Ruka also getting in the charge. Zeka just... <laughs> oh, that punch looks so funny, man. <laughs> well, let's take a quick look here. I know I'm interrupting the flow here, guys, and I'm sorry for that, but uh, sometimes you just got to do it when you're curious. It looks like her martial arts is only at 17, so maybe once she's at 20, she'll get another move. She's Right now, she's just doing the shin kick. Now, Ruka is kind of waiting in the background because we've got all these guards just doing their thing very nice guys very nice now there's no reason we shouldn't just pick up all of these pieces of loot what is that on the ground i don't know what that is anyway uh we're gonna go ahead and heal up and loot everything on these guys we're also gonna check them for bounties i think there was a dust boss over here so we definitely want to grab that dust boss yeah look at that the dust boss guys he's got a bounty so we're gonna pick him up with beep here and he's gonna be down for another 69 seconds and we'll just start looting everything there's another dust boss laying down over here. I don't know if he's got a bounty, uh, but what I want to do is pick him up with Ruzak. Just in case he does have a bounty. Because he's still he's still targeted, or he's still tagged with committing a crime, right? So if I select him... Oh, somebody's getting up. Who's this? Oh, jeez, it's a gorilla, guys. I don't know about all this, but uh, it's happening. This is happening right now. Now, the thing you got to remember, once you switch your archer to passive and range you got to get them to engage too okay looks like he's down that was a quick swing by ruka taking him down we're gonna go ahead and loot those skins he doesn't need to get up all right the dust bandit boss doesn't look to have a bounty the second one doesn't anyway so we don't need to carry him around we're certainly gonna loot him though by the way i just wanted to point out that this is exactly what flying dust bandit bum looks like okay you ready for this here we go we're gonna unpause <laughs> oh my god, look at how he landed. <laughs> this is going out to all the ladies in the audience. This is what we all look for, right? Yep. Some Dust Boss booty. Oh, we almost forgot to heal up the Dust Boss. Would have been a shame if he died and we didn't collect the full bounty. Ooh, what is this? Some more dialogue, maybe? The paladins would have come back from battle with mangled limbs. Heads half caved in, guts spilling out, you name it. Hmm. Man, I love, I love this. I, I can't get enough of this dialogue, man. It's so cool. <laughs> Look at this dude. He got up and his arm ain't working, but he's, he's trying to bring it. But to fake... Yeah, DeFake and Zeka, they're going to take you down, bro. There's nothing you could do at this point. Like, now you got no arm, you know? Like, you're, you're done, yeah. Get your butt sticking out. Yeah, there you go. Whoa, his arm just bounced right there. Oh, oh, he's back up again. Okay. All right. How about now? Okay, well, at this point, everybody's inventory is full of gear, and we need to sell. I don't even know if these guys are going to be able to buy all this stuff. I mean, this stuff's not worth very much, so I don't. I maybe I shouldn't even loot it all. We've already got 25k, but we're still pretty darn broke. Oh. Oh, the Hiver legs are in this game, or in this mod pack. I didn't even know that. I, I mean, I might have known that at one point, but <laughs> this is super cool. I'm so stoked to see this. Thank you, guys. Man, Genesis just... Never disappointing me, man. This is awesome. I'm loving it. Okay, I can't wait to get some of these Hiver-specific limbs. That's going to make Beep even more awesome. Wow, I think we may have finally looted the last dude. That took ages. There were so many freaking dead dust bandits. That was, that was incredible. Time to sell everything. This dude's still got some money left, then we'll have to go to that other shop, because I think we're going to... I think this guy's going to have no money left when we're done. The shopkeeper cannot afford that. Yep, 
<laughs> Ran one of them out of money. That's crazy, man. We're almost at 50k again. Absolutely nuts. All right, fantastic. We are done with all that loot and garbage. Now we can get back to our journey. We're going to take a quick stop here and take a look and see if there's anything that we want to buy in Vane's Pass. See if there's any armor that anybody needs because we've got 52k at this point, so we got plenty of plenty of cash. Ooh, what's this trader got? Ooh, shiny. Ooh, look at that. Hiver Scout leg. I cannot wait to get Beep decked out in limbs, man. I'm so excited now that there's these new cool looking limbs. Let's just do a quick food check here. I think it's a good thing we did a food check, guys. Yeah. Okay, camel. I think we've got enough money that we can start to afford these guys, right? That's still, I think it's still a much better buy. It's not as good as far as space is concerned, but I think we'll just get some of this Gohan. There we go. That's that's plenty. We've still got 50k left. That's plenty for armor on the way. Everything that we need. Okay, so again, we've made a couple changes to our loadout here. Uh, we're still training a little bit here on Beep. No armor changes on him. And let's see, who do we change armor on? Ruzak, we ended up picking up a standard grade black and chainmail at the Thieves Guild, along with these armored rags. So he's definitely looking stronger at this point. Uh, as far as protection goes. So he's looking more like The Rock, right? We're getting one step closer to getting Ruzak to being The Rock. The hard place. The one and only. And he's still doing okay on encumbrance. He's a little bit heavy there. But uh, his weapon will help with that. And the other person that we upgraded gear on... Uh, we switched the backpack on Zeka. I am still carrying this adventurer's rag sack so that we have something for a new recruit when we do get one. And then, uh, let's see. what is that an arrow still sticking out of the fake? Yes, it is. Uh, and then on Crab, of course, I upgraded, I, I switched over the armor, so I moved over the standard grade leather shirt and the standard grade uh, mercenary leather armor that Ruzak was wearing over to Crab. So he's kind of sitting, he's still not encumbered, which is nice, because he does have a little bit of strength, so he's doing good. And we want to get him an, a weapon that's just a little bit heavier than what he's got. So we're going to continue on our way. We're going to stop by Squin and sell our bounty here, and then uh, continue on our merry way. Well, guys, I just had an interesting moment there. Um, I actually was not able to... Um, it looks like it may still be broken, actually. It just says it's stuck loading. Like, I got st I got stuck here loading in Squin. Oh, here it goes again. I'm actually stuck loading on... Uh, trying to get to Squin now. It's It won't load. Okay, really cool. We finally made it here. Uh, we had some issues loading. But uh, it looks like they've been fixed hopefully maybe looks like it yeah i think we're good that was interesting i actually just had to restart the game uh, i saved it and then loaded i mean i i didn't i wasn't able to actually just save and load i actually oh no did we lose our we lost our bounty yep because we saved and loaded we lost our bounty that is really unfortunate ah whatever it's just 2k i really wanted the rep more than anything because that's what we're trying to work on is our rep but that's okay all right, well, we got plenty of cash, so I think we're going to stop by the, um, we're going to stop by the, uh, armor shop. Actually, you know, before we do that, why don't we just have a look at the bars here? That's not a bar. That's not, that's not a bar. Uh, there's a travel shop. Yeah, let's take a look in the travel shop, see if there's anything for sale here. And then, uh, we also, we just want to kind of peruse the bars in town, see if there's anybody here useful that we might want to take along in our adventures. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? Could it be the Tool Cool backpack? Oh, yeah, it looks like it is. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, Camo. Here we go, buddy. I'm hoping it's got the right stats. It does, yeah. Okay, so check this out. So little. This is a mod of my own creation. It's nothing big, but I just had to... So I... I recently sort of discovered Hades Too Cool. Uh, I think I had seen one of his episodes or something when I first started the Celebrity Slaves uh, playthrough. But when uh, one of my viewers, I can't remember who, so chime up if you're the one. I really appreciate you introducing me to him. Uh, super cool guy. He's also on the Discord for um, for uh, Project Genesis, and I've been interacting with him a little bit here and there. Really, he's, he's just a super nice guy, and he's fun to watch. I find when you have 15 minutes to spare, uh, his... His Kenshi videos are just fun, you know? I really like his editing style. 
and he's getting better all the time. So really just a nice guy. Uh, so I made this backpack for his character in my Celebrity Slaves playthrough, and I and it just uh, when I when I was using this backpack on camo, I just thought this is perfect. Like this is as good as it gets uh, for for a camo backpack. So I do need to fix the icon though. It doesn't look like it's quite fixed quite right. Uh, but it is it is essentially a thieves version of the large backpack, and we're only going to use one of these, and it's going to be for camo. And so I'm going to go ahead and buy that because this just screams Sir Camo. So uh, we're we're going to get that uh, we're going to get the inventory fixed up here so that you can carry that. Okay, we got everything moved, and Sir Camo, that's your new backpack, dude. <laughs> Now, you know, maybe it's a little OP, I don't know, but I kind of, I just really had a lot of fun making that for Hades, and I really wanted camo to have it, so uh, I tried to play around with making an actual camo back, backpack for you, uh, but the amount of work that it would have taken uh, was too much for me to get it done in time and still do an intro for the character coming in today, and so I, I just wasn't able to do that. So you're going to have to do with the fancy uh, green backpack for now, buddy. Hope you like it, man. Okay, we're in the bar here. Let's just take a look at, at what we've got here. We've got a male Sheck with no horns. We've got a female Sheck with horns. What else do we got? Anybody? Anybody? Bueller. Bueller. Just guards. Is this guy a Sheck? He is a Sheck, but he definitely does not have horns. That's okay. What about upstairs? Anybody? Is it just Sheck or do we have any option? Other Whoa. Who are you? Oh, Ron. She's stacked. That is a stacked Sheck lady. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like we're seeing any of the recruits that I'm looking for here. So we're going to head on our merry way down south. Okay. So we stopped back in the way station here. Just uh, checking to see what we've got. And we're still working on beep strength training along the way. We're just kind of running over encumbered with him we'll just see what we got here we got some mercs maybe who's this guy stinks that's funny what do we got any what do we got some hivers tech hunters who's this that's a cool he's cool i mean he's wearing the backpack that's what i thought was kind of cool about it by the way uh another female shack boy is she skinny what do we got here a hiver Oh, that's the diplomat. That's a shopkeeper. What do we got upstairs? Anybody that's recruitable? Those are guards. Uh, who are you? Double. That's interesting. This is a male Sheck. Oh. Yeah, let's go talk to Double and see what's up. All right, Ruka, you got to be the one to do the talking. Looking for something to join up with, Outlander? Looking for someone to join up with, Outlander? Sure, I'm interested. Actually, maybe. But first, tell me who you are. Um, I'm nothing. I don't have a job or any money. Yesterday I was so hungry. I ate a moldy rice ball off the floor. <laughs> But bloody, when you're that hungry, even a moldy rice ball tastes good. Mm -hmm. Okay, how much are you charging? 3,000 cats, that's all I ask. Well, uh, yeah, that sounds good. Fine, let's do it. Then let's get started. All right. Got a mail check on the team now, buddy. Woohoo! The Broken One was once a simple Shek citizen, living a peaceful life in the world of Kenshi. During one of his trips home to see his family, he discovered that they had been brutally murdered by the Holy Nation. He became enraged, and he swore to take revenge for the death of his family. Blinded by his thirst for the Holy Nation's blood, he attacked a small camp of Holy Nation sentinels. He was quickly overpowered and captured. The sentinels sent him to work the Mines of Rebirth. Upon his arrival, his grievous wounds were tended to by a bearded Holy Nation medic. Eventually, the Broken One managed to escape captivity and made his way south to Shack territory. As fate would have it, one day while eating breakfast, he happened to see a hornless Shack woman accompanied by the very Holy Nation medic that saved his life. Perhaps this would be the chance he was looking for to regain his honor 
and maybe help this dishonored Sheck woman regain hers as well. Perhaps now the holy nation would pay and rebirth would be liberated. So begins the tale of the Broken One. Okay, so here we are, the broken one. Welcome to the team, Andre. Really appreciate the submission, man, and the story. And thank you to everyone who helped along the way, uh, trying to kind of help uh, give some ideas on the story. I really appreciate that. That's you know that's one of my favorite pieces of this whole thing is is you guys working together. You know, I, I really enjoy that you work with me. But what I like even more is the fact that you guys help each other. You know, I really. I really want to foster that attitude. I really, really want people to, to help each other. So welcome to the team, Endry. And I really like uh, the broken one. I like it. It was between kind of the shattered one and the broken one because we don't know what his name is, obviously, since I told you that, guys. But uh, yeah, we're going to, for now, until we discover his true name, he will be the broken one. Very nice. Glad to have another Shaq on board. That's going to be cool. And he's 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 eating some food at this point. So, all right, uh, we are going to need to get him some armor, and he's going to be a martial artist, so he doesn't really need this katana for any reason whatsoever. So we'll go ahead and get that sold. All right, let's get over here. Sell to this dude. I love that backpack, man. Cam, well, I hope you're happy with that, dude. It's it's just been really fun. You know, throwing stuff like that in. It takes a little bit of time, but it's so worth it, guys. It's just really fun interacting with you guys. And, you know, I, I, I hope that someday, I shouldn't say I hope, I can't wait for the day when I can just do this full time every day. And I'm not really working on any software engineering, contracting, or full time work for companies. Because as much as I love that work, I think that chapter of my life within the next five years, I'd like that to come to a close. And I would really like to, um, I would really like to become the full time CEO of my own YouTube business. And I, I, I can't wait until I can just do this full time. And then, of course, someday I, I'll have to bring other people in and I'll be able to employ people. But for now, uh, I'm, I'm just having so much fun doing this. And I really I can't wait until this becomes my full time job. I just I, it's such a fun chapter for me. It really is. It's so cool. And, and the funnest part about that entire journey so far, guys, is just your collaboration, really watching you guys help each other. And it's, it's just such a treat for me to see that. I just am so thankful that I decided to take this journey. Uh, and why don't we grab some more food? Why not? Now, we were originally going to go straight into the swamp, uh, but now that we've picked up the broken one, we are going to need to, uh, one, we'll let it, need to let him recover, but we're going to need to work his athletics a little bit. Uh, and so what we're going to do, and he needs some armor too, at least a little bit of armor, right? So we are going to head over to AdMag and just see if there's anything in town for sale that we can utilize, uh, and, uh, before, and then we'll head to the swamp. I just wanted to take a quick moment to take a look at our ragtag crew here, man. We are looking good, guys. Absolutely. Uh, you know, the broken one is looking a little broken, but uh, we're going to get him there, guys. We're going to get him up to speed, and we're going to bring him We're gonna bring him along for the journey because we're super happy to have him. And you know what? Uh, I just wanted to take this... Oh, 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 that is a bone dog. Uh, we might as well take this fight. Why not, right? Yeah, we're going to get banged up a little bit, but you know what? That's that's why we do it, right? Camo, you're going to stay on you're going to stay on the back for right now. It's just going to be going to be the way we do it. All right. We're going to take quite a bit of damage, I'm sure. Yeah. Woo! Oh man. Loot that with Camo. Might as well take that free food. Some of our hivers can eat that, right? Or our hiver, the one we have. So anyway, yeah, our Motley crew looking good. Super excited to have everybody together. Now, the one thing I wanted to mention here while I was checking out all these sexy booties is that when we, I want to build a base sooner in this playthrough. I waited quite a long time in my last playthrough and I really, I'm not big on base building, um, but I don't want to do it all like in a lump sum in one episode. And that's what I did uh, in my last series. I don't want to do that anymore. What I want to do is kind of integrate it a little bit more so that I'm building you know, here and there, like, you know, if we have a 45 minute episode, I want to do like five minutes worth of base building in each episode and just give you guys base updates. Like I don't want to focus on it, but I want to integrate it into the playthrough. And so once we have 10 people, we're going to get started on that because I don't want it to be super easy. Uh, but I do, you know, I do want to have a little bit of sort of, we head back to base and, and, you know, work on it a little bit and then we head out. I want to, I want to kind of integrate that into the playthrough. So 
So what I, the reason I'm mentioning this, guys, is because I would like you to think about where it where would it make sense for us to build a base. Now we need to be. Um, I would like to be closer to where the Sheck will send reinforcements from than we are to where the Holy Nation will send assaults from. Other than that, I don't care. That's the one piece. I want our allies, once we do finally have allies, which we don't now, but once we do have allies, I would like them to, I would like them to show up on time for the assaults. And a lot of times I'll build a base somewhere where that just doesn't happen. So let's put some thought into that uh, and give me your thoughts on where you think we should build this first base. Uh, and this may be the only base in the playthrough. I don't really know, but for right now, where should we build guys? Because we need the Sheck once we ally with them to be able to kind of head over and help us out. So just let me know in the comments uh, section below, like put put a name of a city in, or not a city, but you know, an area or, you know, post a link to a screenshot that you've taken of like where you recommend putting a base, anything like any kind of helpful information on that we can kind of get the community talking about. Uh, and then which kind of whichever base location really gets the most thumbs ups. Uh, and make sure you thumbs up the ones that you like that aren't yours, right? Because I want to, I want a consensus of what the community thinks, not just like everybody voting for their own. So, and I know you guys will do that anyway. I know I don't have to say that. I know you guys will do that because you guys have been doing that already. So let me know in the comments where you think we should build our, our base. All right, guys, so we had this Sheck come up here and talk some smack to us. And, uh, you know, that's just not going to fly, right? Because Beep is the strongest warrior, period. Like Beep, Beep has to prove himself as the strongest warrior like that's there's just no question about that right so essentially whenever beep gets challenged whenever the group gets challenged now ruzak ruzak and beep can switch off on this duty but because beep just joined us and beep wants to be the strongest warrior beep has to prove himself to this this person referring to him as a twerp so that is exactly what beep is gonna do I hear Sheck are pretty rowdy, but that's about it. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Rowdy? Rowdy? The Sheck is the most honorable of kingdoms. We are warriors. Warriors, not ruffians. Here we earn respect through bravery in battle, not rowdiness as you call it. There's no respect in picking fights with one another. It's just rowdiness. Oh, let's see what happens here. We live and breathe battle in the Sheck kingdom. Only through honorable battle can we gain passage to the Holy Land's gateway. I wouldn't expect a money-grubbing foreigner to understand our ways, though. Who the hell are you calling money-grubbing? <laughs> if you will act the stereotype, I have yet to meet a foreigner who does not feed your greedy, slimy reputation. Okay, that's it. Get ready to fight. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Admirable. The flat skin has bite. Okay, sword up. I'll be waiting at the gates. Okay, Beep, here you go, Muddy. It is your time to shine, bro. It is your time to shine. Now, nobody's going to help him on this fight. He's the one and only Beep. He's the most powerful warrior. We got to move all this crap off of him first, though. All right. And we will, of course, go out and rescue him once, uh, you know, if he loses the fight. I shouldn't say once he loses the fight because we don't doubt our people like that, right, guys? No, we do not. We will encourage him. Let's just keep our fingers crossed that he doesn't die. My first act as commander, getting Beep killed. All right, here you go, Beep. It's time for you to show this Sheck what's up. All right, now this Sheck is going to run out of town, right? Is this the right one? Is this the chick that was messing with us? I think so, yeah. Okay, so she's going to run out of town. Is she going to fight us? What's the deal? You're going to fight us, Chick? Oh, she's going to, I think she's going to follow us. And then once we're far enough away from town, she's going to tell us, all right, it's time. It's time for the showdown. There we go. This fight is free between you and me alone. You're right. It is. Let's do this. Beep's not scared. Beep's the, the strongest warrior. Beep's not scared of you. You got nothing. Let's go, bro. I mean, Chica, let's do this, man. Get over here. Haven't we walked far enough? I think it's I think you're just scared to fight Beep. That's all there is to it. Like Beep's gonna make you look bad. Beep's gonna smoke you. He's gonna take you down to Alright, here we go, here we go. Really? Then we duel? She says then we duel, but then she doesn't attack me. Come on, you weakling. Alright, here we go, here we go. Alright, Beep. Let's see what you got, bro Seamus. Beep's got this right, guys. No problem. Alright, Beep taking a quick hit. Oh, his arm is halfway off already, guys. 
Oh, man, a hit to the stomach. Come on, Beep, you got this. Oh, man, he tried to block again, but didn't quite get it. Oh, fourth hit, straight to the right arm. Beep coming in with a swing. Oh, gets blocked. That's too bad. His right arm is down, guys. Okay, so we verified that uh, with that weapon. Uh, oh, man, dude. No, Beep's arm, dude. Is Beep's arm going to, is he going to lose his arm? I don't know, guys. I don't know. Oh, he's taking some head hits. Hopefully that arm. Oh, man. One more hit to the to the head or the stomach, and he's going down. Beep tries his best. Oh, hit to the head. Hit to the head. Okay. All right. Well, it's time, Sir Camel. Actually, you know what, Ruzak? You can, you can be the designated guy that helps out the beeper. I'm kind of I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't lose the arm, to be honest. What is this? Oh, this is a I think is this dude coming to help us? He is, yeah. That's cool. That's nice of you guy. Alright, beep. <laughs> Poor guy, man. Hey, well, let's see what his toughness went up to. Did he get any toughness? Seven. That's good, man. That's why you, that's why you get your butt kicked in Kenshi, right? It's all about the toughness. It's too bad he didn't lose that uh lose that limb. Okay, guys, we got some folks in bed here. Uh, we did move backpacks and gear around a little bit, and I'll show that off in just a second. I just want to take a look at this map here. We're going to grab this engineer's map and this tech hunter library map, as well as this tech hunter map. We're going to check out on the map what all of those ended up being. So, oh, there's the third one up there. Okay, so we've got one right here. It's kind of in the middle of, um, well, it's on the northern edge of Deadlands. And then we've got another one right over here uh whoa i know which one that is <laughs> might be a little bit before we're going to that one and then we got a ruins way up here so cool just figured i'd pick those guys up and uh, as soon as they're out of bed i will show you kind of the outfits we got going on here it's a little harder to see uh i i didn't quite i wasn't able to quite get the outfit that uh, andrew requested for the broken one but i got as close as i could with the gear that they have available here in town and it looks like beep's arm is having a tough time there Hmm, I don't know who this dude is. We're, we're swinging back through some towns just looking in the shop, seeing if there's anything armor-wise that we can get while we're working on uh, the Broken One's athletics. So, ran into this guy. He's uh, a Sohei, it looks like. Let's see what he has to say. Hello, brother. May I have a word? Sure, monk. What's up? Well, us monks of Sohei go on great pilgrimages around Kenshi, searching for enlightenment, though some time ago I lost my group during a dust storm. So, you want me to find them? No, no, this war was over a year ago. Now it would be near, near impossible. Now it would be a near impossible job. Uh, you could join my group? Hmm. Well, you do seem trustworthy, and most people I have met out. more trustworthy than most people I have met out there. Okay, if you make a donation, I will join. A donation? Uh, yes, yes, I shall send it off to the Todai Dera to help with our grand temple city's upkeep. All wealth made by pilgrims is sent back home. It's one of our main incomes. Hmm, main sources of income, I would imagine. Uh, oh, okay, well, how much of a donation? 5,000 cats and I'll join you. But if you donate 10,000 cats, your reputation with the order will increase a lot more. Hmm, interesting. Sorry, I can't afford such hefty donations. Hmm. That's interesting. That's kind of cool. He says we can come back anytime. So what is he? He's a uh, he's Scorchlander? His eyeballs look like... I mean, he's got to be a Greenlander, right? Sometimes their eyes just look like they're Scorchlander eyes, but he, his skin looks like he's a Greenlander. Okay, up in the hub, we found a little bit of what we were looking for. So let's kind of take a look here at the Broken One's suit of armor now. Uh, you'll have to let me know what you think of the helmet, Endry. Um, the helm, if you like that, if you want us to find something different for you. Uh, and then we'll certainly at some point try to get um, a shirt that's black for you. In fact, do we have anybody that has one that really doesn't need it? Let's see. You're wearing a high-grade leather shirt. Crab. I think everybody... Ruzak's wearing chain, which is what I would ideally want you to wear. Um, yeah, let's see how this looks. Let's switch this out. Yeah, that looks better. It's not quite as good, uh, but we'll get you an upgrade. It's fine. Ruka can hang on to that for now. I don't think anybody else has one that's black. 
or dark, right? It's not black, it's just dark. So that I think that looks pretty good. Uh, we'll try to get you something that's uh, black at some point. But yeah, let me know what you think of the look. I did try to, I got the Tabby boots for you. They're high grade. And then I got a standard grade uh, Assassin's, or um, what is this? Yeah, those are Assassin's Rags. I was thinking of the other one, um, the Ninja Rags. Yeah, but these are the Assassin's Rags. So, and yeah, that's what you're looking like so far, buddy. You're a little slow because I had to take the wooden sandals off you, but you know what? If you guys request a very specific outfit, that is exactly what I'm going to put you in, and I don't mind at all. I think it's awesome that you guys are taking artistic liberties because, you know, I a lot of times I try to min-max, but I really enjoy your guys' artistic vision of your character. And if you want me to put some different shoes on you, you want me to put a different you know, different helmet on you. I don't care about the stats, guys. Like, what's really important to me is that you define your character the way you want it to be. So you just let me know how you want your character to look, you know, what kind of weapon you want, everything, everything you can change about your character, you just let me know. If you want me to make your character look a certain way, you just send me a file of your exported characters look and I will go to a plastic surgeon and I will change them to look exactly the way you want them to. I'm totally, totally down for that. In fact, I would encourage it. And we're not going to carry those sandals just in case, right? We could do that. We could carry those sandals just in case. And uh, I don't, we're just not going to do that. If we get into a tough spot and we need to run away or we need to fight, we're just going to, that's how it's going to be. All right, so at this point, we need to get down to Shun and kind of check out that southern area around the hook and see if we can find some uh, some uh, new stuff down there because I hear there's some new stuff down there. We're going to do that in the next episode, guys. So don't forget to smash that like button if you had a good time. And if you want more RPG awesome sauce in your life, feel free to subscribe. And as always, guys, I can't wait to see you again for some more gaming shenanigans. Love ya!